Hello guys, wherever you are around the world and welcome to another brand new video today on our MBGKA YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us and thank you for tuning in as always and I hope you enjoy the footage today. In today's episode, we are working with Football Futures and Whitstable Town Under-19s Academy with three of their goalkeepers. Today's video should give you some insight in how to maybe work with goalkeepers in small spaces or tight areas. So we're just putting together some ideas uh, that cover some technical and random practice uh, with these three keepers and some different variations that could be done in a very small space. Also taking into consideration we're working off a slightly difficult surface here which is quite slippy so you may see the goalkeeper struggling to get their foot in at times. Um, this was just a short term solution because at the minute uh, being in tier 3 down in Kent in England uh, we are struggling with venues uh, being closed right this close to Christmas um, with this video being shot on the 15th of December. So with all that being said, let's take a look at this first practice with the goalkeepers. So we're dealing with a back pass that comes back, an angled volley into hands, and then a high ball of corresponding side, and then a low dive, which the goalkeeper knows where it's going. The next thing to address, and I'm sure the boys won't mind me saying, is that we are under 19 goalkeepers playing at semi-pro level uh, with Whitstable Town Academy. We're not professional goalkeepers, so there are mistakes made. There are little elements that you'll see in the goalkeepers' performances uh, that maybe you think could be improved or developed on, which is the whole point why we're here and why we train constantly day in, day out to be better goalkeepers and improve our performance. One of the main things in this first practice, which you may have noticed, is getting used to jumping off the correct leg for a cross. So let's push into the next drill and as you see with this next practice we're looking at slightly more explosive power and speed movements again with four balls worked throughout the drill we're working off a premeditated dive which then gets up into an angled volley which is coming in with pace back into another premeditated dive the other way and into another angled volley which again is coming in with pace and it's designed to be random so the goalkeeper doesn't know exactly where it's going but we know by working in a roughly six yard goal that we're in the ball will be coming in closer to us so we can afford to try and stay calm and composed and make as good a technical save as we can one of the biggest things for me when working in small spaces for goalkeepers is looking to make the most of it in terms of keeping it realistic in the movements they might be completing. And also, you're only limited to your own creativity as to what you can do here. So we have three goalkeepers in these drills. And on most of the practices we're doing here all include up to four to six services. And it just requires some thinking and how we prepare this and how we go about organising the positions for the service. We're also looking to include uh, random practice as well as technical practice as I already stated. So the goalkeepers get their opportunities to make good saves where they can concentrate on how they perform the action. And then they also get opportunities to perform skills where the ball is coming in quicker and random and they have to make a good decision on what save they make. One of the best things about working in small spaces sometimes is you do create quite a bit of chaos in terms of how quick you move and the speed of the drill and the tempo that you set. So here it's really important that the goalkeepers can be calm and composed as we've already stated and can really try and focus in on each ball by ball and not move on to the next save until they completed the first and remain cool in the chaos. And just a quick interlude as well, thank you everyone for your support on the channel so far. We've reached over 1,500 subscribers, which is brilliant. Thank you so much to all of you who subscribed. If you're new to the channel, please think about hitting the subscribe button and liking the videos. I really appreciate it. And of course, if you are new to the channel today, welcome and I hope you enjoy the action so far. So the next drill is a back pass followed by a random volley for the angle into a more random strike from the centre in and around the goalkeeper's bubble into another random volley on the angle. Really important thing I think to share for goalkeeper training online sometimes is real training in the sense that you can see some of the actions here from the goalkeepers are not perfect and they do make mistakes and there are elements that need to be improved on. I think sometimes this can get lost online in training. You can see all the great things, which is fantastic. It's really inspiring for young goalkeepers. However, this is the reality of training as you see here. You can see some great saves, you can see some fantastic actions from the goalkeepers, but no doubt you can see things that need to be improved on, little elements that could be better, little spills, mistakes, parries, etc. It makes us real and it makes us understand that we're not perfect and that training is important. It's really, really essential to focus on that technical detail that we're working on every single day to be the best we can be. Yes, work the pace. 
Progression here is just a random strike from the beginning. So the same actions as before, as you can see, but a random strike at the beginning and a random strike in the middle. Our final practice is a six ball drill where they work off a cutback into a central strike, then position for the next cutback before recovering for another central strike. And then the two angled players have moved up on the ball for an angled volley random and across for another angled volley randomly. The important thing to remember when doing drills like this is that the goalkeepers are only working off a couple of sets each. So when you saw the first one with Kane in, he did one more round and that was it before he came out. Finally, as I said at the beginning, we're working here with Whitstable Town Under 19's Academy, which is ran by Football Futures and Josh Algar. If you are a goalkeeper and you live in the area uh, down in Kent towards the south coast and you're looking for an Under 19 Academy program to work in for your education, look no further than Football Futures and Josh Algar's Whitstable Town Academy. A great setup, really professional, and something thoroughly worth looking at. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and thank you again for sticking with us through 2020 on the channel. I really appreciate all your support, all the subscribers who follow us and if you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoyed today's video also. Once again, thank you for watching the video today. I hope you had a great Christmas and I hope you have a great new year and I'll see you all for more new videos in 2021. Thank you.